Thanks for uh, having this interview with me. No worries, thanks for having me. Big fan of Vikings. First question, what was it like starring in such a high profile series? When you're filming it and you're filming in Dublin Island, you don't know you're on a big show at all. George was saying earlier, like it's all your friends and you feel like family, you all work together. You don't realize how big it is until kind of comes out like a year later. So while you're filming it, you're just really concentrating on the work, what you're doing, trying to do a good job, not stuff it up. You don't realize how big it's going to be until it actually comes out. Also, it's also pretty amazing to think that you'll be part of like this legacy forever. Like, I know with other shows, sometimes they didn't get kind of famous till years later, you yeah. know there might be a surge of Vikings in like 10 years where everyone's like mad about it again. And we'll be like, oh my God, we were in I there. I've never thought of that. Yeah, I think about that often. It's quite sad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's pretty cool to be part of something it's so huge. Especially because the spin-off is coming right over the corner, right? Yeah, I hear so. Don't know much about it. We don't know much about that, but yeah. yeah. Was there any pressure when you found out you were going to film next to Travis, AKA Ragnar? Absolutely. Um, most of the guys had been on the show for four or five years when we joined up and we came in it's quite a heavy storyline straight off the bat so there was definitely a pressure on you to do well and keep up but everyone was very supportive everyone was very helpful it was a real team environment which i think helped and hopefully we did a good job i think you get the outside pressure but internally it worked not at all and travis is he's an amazing actor and he's a great man and he made it very easy he was very helpful i wouldn't say he made it easy but he was very helpful He's hard work off screen, but on screen, he's an absolute gentleman. Yeah, he's great. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your scripts. Do you get it like an entire season or do you just get it bit by bit? Do you know when you're going to die or not? Two episodes at a time. Yeah, two episodes at a time. So if you get a, they used to have Keith, they called him the angel of death. Mm. So if you get a called into his office, you kind of knew you were getting the chop. And I've been called into his office three times and all three of them had nothing to do with me dying. So it was very stressful three times. When did you find out about the, uh, you know, the eye incident? When I read it. Yeah, they didn't give me any pre-warning about that. That was just when I read it. Yeah. And when I talked to the stunt guys, I think they filled me in. And how about Old Norse? Did you learn like the entire thing or just lines for it? I'm so bad at learning Old Norse, so you can answer that question. To be honest, I found it not very hard, I will say. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything. Um, but they would give you like a voice recording. You just could listen to it basically over and over again. Um, and I just learnt how they pronounced it. So for me, it was like I had to like re learn it phonetically and then the sounds. Okay. But I mean, it was diff it's difficult, obviously, because it m doesn't make sense to you. Because if you don't know what you're saying, you're not quite, it doesn't make it any easier. Um, so I kind of tried to understand what I was actually saying, um, but it was hard, but well, yeah. I find it ridiculous. Enough. It sounds good. If you can do it well, um, I think the thing is, I didn't want to do it unless I sounded really good. So I said to Paul, who um, who did accents and voice with us and everything, I just said, don't let me do it unless it's not if unless it's good, because otherwise I don't want to do it. Like I was really firm on that, and um, I think it sounds good. I think I normally have mine glued somewhere on set so I can. There's a scene where I ride in doing it. Head on the back of the yeah, horse. Glued on the back of the horse, so I'm just kind of reading it as I'm riding in. I find it really hard. So do you guys remember what you said? Like a day after, for example? I remember, I remember it now. I remember the Viking song. I don't think I'll ever forget that as long as I live. Mm. I listened to it on repeat for about six months straight. I still barely got it. So I understand the show is mostly filmed in Ireland. How do you find it filming outside, you know, in nature and stuff compared to normal studio shootings? Like, does the light count? Then do you hurry up because we're losing light and all that? Yeah, oh, yeah. the clouds, Dublin's got quite very temperamental weather as well. It's cold. I love being outside though. I think when you're outside, it feels a lot more real than inside a studio. Um, when you've got the fresh air, especially because the Vikings were outside so much, there's a realness to it that I really enjoy. And the cold air makes you feel alive and everyone gets a little bit wild out there. So yeah, I'd prefer to be outside than in a studio anytime. I very much disagree with that. <laughs> I think the boys all kind of thrived outside. Like they loved it. It would be like a day out, you know, they'd have their warm jackets and they'd all be excited. And I was like, no, I literally had like 10 layers on under my clothes to where I couldn't actually move my arms. Like there was yeah. restricted I movement. About two hours to go to the bathroom. Yeah. So uh, I can't say I love that. Just really cold weather and not very practical clothes for that weather. Like long dresses and stuff that get soaking wet. Not fun. So I prefer studio work. Or if we were outside, um, working on the back lot was pretty cool because you could run into your trailer if you wanted to. You know, that was nicer. Mm. Location was not for me. So which scenes would you say marked you the most or were hardest to film? 
Hardest to film. Okay, since we're just talking about weather, the scene when we blood eagle king. Not, not necessarily. There's any scene, whatever. Would be the battle, the one-on-one -on -one fight that I had. I think it was episode eighteen, season five. And it just took it took like oh, 10, 12 weeks to learn on the stunt work, which is constant. And then it took two days to feel. Which Did was you definitely something. A yeah, I dislocated or? my shoulder halfway through. I had to get a shoulder reconstruction. But it's just, yeah, it's definitely the most physically exhausted I've ever been after any job. You? Um, I would say the emotional stuff is the hardest to do for me. Mm. Um, That's interesting. Especially if you have a lot of emotional scenes in an episode. And it's dra very draining um, to get into that headspace every day. And then you sort of leave work just feeling a bit depressed. Um, once in a while it's okay, but particularly some of the scenes coming up, I'm just crying consistently for like five episodes. And that was, that. I would say that's most difficult. Because also sometimes you wake up and you're in a good mood and you don't fancy crying, mm. but you have to. And then it's hard. So I would say the emotional stuff usually takes it out of me the most. Okay, just last question. What does this season have in store for us? A lot. Because it is coming to an end, this season is absolutely epic. It's huge. You're going to see people fight and you don't want to fight each other. People are going to team up that you don't want to team up. There's people coming, people going. There's some new faces, some favourite faces will leave, some favourite faces come back. Not the Ragnar, though. I don't know, maybe. You never know. Apart from the fact he's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure, why not? <laughs> Everyone always wants him to come back, but he did. Yeah, everyone does ask that. That's like yeah. the most asked question, Yeah, I would say. Is he ever coming back? Yeah. Well, not really. No. He's kind of Ned Stark, isn't he? Yeah, he's been, that's a good way to put it, yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, awesome. thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot and have fun. Appreciate thank you. It.